Welcome back everyone to another video and this is a big video as I'm going to be going over the coronavirus and all of the effects that they've had on the major sports or all professional and college sports that it's affected. So anyways, I'm going to go one by one, sport by sport. Starting things off, we've got the NCAA for basketball. Both women's tournaments and men's tournaments have been cancelled, that means March Madness, and the conference tournaments were already cancelled, and March Madness already was announced that there would be no fans in attendance, so that was weird enough, but now the whole tournament is going to be cancelled, and before this decision was even made, two of the top-ranked programs in the nation being Kansas and Duke had already pulled out of the tournament, so no college basketball this year to watch and make brackets for. And then for the NBA, of course, we saw Rudy Gobert start it. Then Donovan Mitchell also tested positive for coronavirus. And there's a minimum 30-day suspension for the NBA. And according to Mark Cuban and others, they think we could see NBA basketball in August, playoff basketball. So what this could set up is in a span of two to three months, we could possibly be seeing the NBA Finals, the NBA Draft, preseason or summer league, free agency, and the NBA award show. It could be a very busy month. And then if you look at the teams that made the playoffs and didn't, the teams that didn't make the playoffs, such as the Pelicans, they'll have a little bit of an advantage as far as rest coming into the next season. They'll have a ton of rest between seasons and teams that were just in the playoffs. They would be in a position where they'd only have two to three months of a whole off season. So now moving on to baseball, MLB, they did cancel their spring training games, all the remainder of them. And MLB MLB opening day, scheduled to be on March 26th, has been pushed back a minimum of two weeks and it could be longer. The 30 to 60 day range seems like a more likely outcome as the two weeks was just initially said so the MLB could figure out what they're going to do. And then last but not least, the NFL, there's not much going on as far as games, but the NFL, they have shut down their training camps and teams have removed scouts from going to pro days for the college players. And what's going to happen with the NFL draft with all of those people you have to think as of right now they are not in the position to host that in las vegas going to be a very crowded atmosphere so in recap besides nascar and the pga tour every sport both college and professional has been suspended this is just a crazy thing that is going on right now it's unreal really i've seen nothing like this before and there's really been nothing that has affected sports to the degree of this as there's been some problems in the world but none of them have gotten to cancel sports all of the major pro and college sports so let me know your thoughts on this how are you going to get past the time without sports because it's a thing that people can watch every night baseball basketball whatever is going on the nhl season has also been suspended so let me know your thoughts on this the virus is affecting everything